Now, I'm going to give full credit to Jeremy at Geeks and Gamers, who's obviously has an excellent channel, and he's talked about this before. He raised the issue of the the T-shirt that says Star Wars is for everyone, and he points out they're trying to reverse what Kathleen Kennedy has done. So Kathleen Kennedy made or appeared in these T-shirts that says that Star Wars is for women or Star Wars is for, is for females. And they're seeing that as a huge error. And somebody above Lucasfilm, perhaps even Bob Iger, has stepped in and said, you need to reverse this. You need to say that Star Wars is for everyone. And because we want to attract everybody, all 6 billion people in the world, they could be a fan or a customer of Star Wars. And that's how it should be. That's completely normal. And you're going to see this more and more. You're going to see the reversing of what Kathleen Kennedy has done. So they're going to try and strip out the political messages of Kathleen Kennedy, which has isolated certain customer groups. And this particular clip, which I'll link to, it's with it's with the actor who plays Chewbacca, Eunice Stallmeyer. Stallmeyer. I'll probably say his name terribly. But this this panel is obviously almost scripted and that makes complete sense quite normal but they would have a lot of preparation the marketing department will give them words to say perhaps even a whole piece of, of dialogue to read to say to the audience but it's it's the messaging of the marketing department that they're trying to get across and then there'll probably be rehearsals for this sort of show that's that's completely normal but what they've also done is injected in this messaging of they're trying to reverse the damage that Kathleen Kennedy has done and they use the actor of Chewbacca to do that and the reason is that he's quite a obviously he's wearing a costume so they wouldn't use Rose they wouldn't use Rose Tico or the actress that plays Rose Tico to do that because obviously we've had a lot of controversy surrounding Rose Tico so they'll brush that under the carpet but and they'll leave somebody else to do the talking for her and that's what that's what the actor who plays Chewbacca is doing in this segment he says that he can remember as a child and he says that you know Star Wars is and he says regardless of whether you're tall or big Star Wars is for is for everyone and you they, you're going to hear that more and more that Star Wars is for everyone segment is going to be repeated and pushed and they're gonna, you're gonna feature in, in, they're gonna say it in interviews because the marketing department want to make sure that everybody, whether you're Chinese, black, white, Asian, South American, male, female, transvestite, any anybody who has access to money can be a customer of Star Wars and that's how it should be because movies should be made for everybody if you like a movie go and watch the movie enjoy the movie if you don't like the movie go and watch something else or go or go and go and go go to the swimming pool or go to the gym that's the how life should be but Kathleen Kennedy wanted to make Star Wars for women because she wanted to promote the role of women in society and film is not the role to do that or blockbuster movies is not the place where that should happen so the, they're repairing what Kathleen Kennedy's done, and the virtue signaling from this particular ca actor, the the gentleman who plays Chewbacca, is what they've done in this stage scenario. And also, Jeremy, whilst he's there, he says that there's so much virtue signaling, he calls it out. So I'm just trying to add a bit of detail, so to what Jeremy appears to be saying. I don't want to. I don't want to speak on behalf of Jeremy, obviously, but just to give a different interpretation of what is happening is that Star Wars and Lucasfilm are going to push, are going to reverse what Kathleen Kennedy has done. So it's going to be, it, this movie is going to be called Star Wars, the, the Star Wars is for everyone. That's the title of, of this movie. They're going to try and bring back all those Star Wars fans that have lost because they need the money. And also the toys, they're going to have to somehow identify what's happening with the toys because you've got to remember this is business Bob Iger is essentially like an accountant he's like a businessman accountant he he will sit down with the accountants to get these financial reports and, and he'll have targets they'll say right we want to sell half a billion dollars worth of Star Wars toys each year if they're selling 200 million dollars or 300 million dollars why why is that happening he will throw his 
his chair, he, you know, he will throw muck about until he gets answers. That's his job. That's Bob Iger's job is to make money, get those cash tills ringing with Star Wars toys being sold to parents to give to their children for Christmas. If that isn't happening, the shareholders are not going to be happy, and the shareholders will sack up Bob Iger, and Bob Iger will lose his sixty-five million dollar year of salary. That's that's what all this is about, and that's all part of capitalism. So they need to identify why this toy is not selling. And if it's because they're focused on these these groups of customers, i.e. in this case females or women, then even women themselves, because most women don't consider themselves to be feminists, so they're going to see, right, this, these movies are targeted at feminists. Even though I'm a woman, I'm not a feminist because I don't believe in dividing people and then having Disney pay women less than men even though they're making movies based on feminism which is complete hypocrisy and women know this women know that the female staff working for Disney are being paid less than men yet Disney are paying women less than men anyway so so if you take all of the hundreds of millions of women out there they know what's happening you can't fool everybody you can fool some people Captain Marvel has fooled enough people enough people for them to make a billion dollars and that's that's what they've done but you can't fool everybody all of the time that it doesn't work like that whereas the original Star Wars movies they didn't try to fool anybody they just went out and made great movies with great stories and that's why it become a huge phenomenon that they're now piggybacking off by Disney buying the brand and making these movies on what they hope will work and so far it the toys haven't and solo hasn't and we're, it's called star wars fatigue yet you're not seeing that with marvel there's no marvel fatigue because they're pumping out more and more movies and they're now talking about having more tv shows so there's almost no sign of superhero fatigue stopping the only reason why there's talk of star wars fatigue is because they made a right mess of it and the, and the movie's not really that good if if you know if you made if they made Star Wars movie come out every month and it was great movies that really opened your eyes like the original Star Wars movies did, because George Lucas wanted to in, in include these very you know political systems like the Roman Empire and Buddhism with with Yoda and his you know, his high intellect of understanding those concepts and putting them into storyline, people were fascinated by it and people lapped up and they did for years. The, the movies are still hugely popular because they're such high intellect, whereas what they've tried to do is just throw these special effects and have a young female character who has no real interesting background and just appears to be a Mary Sue. And they've noticed that's a mistake and that's why this is called the rise of the skywalker because they've realized that just having a young woman come from nowhere and and trying to make out that she can become the next great character with no background or no skills doesn't work it's not it's not logical it's not how the world works in reality a young woman from a terrible background from poverty can rise up and become a huge and can be very successful but just to have for it to happen overnight like that doesn't work it takes a huge amount of work and yet ray in these movies suddenly she can do all these different things without even trying sometimes she just flaps her arms about and suddenly she can shoot stormtroopers with guns without even looking it's just ridiculous so they've realized they've made a mistake and this whole virtue signaling based on the star wars is for everyone you're going to see it more and more so you, you you're going to be sick of hearing the, the phrase star wars is for everyone because they're going to try and repair what the mess that kathleen kennedy has made so if you you know if you disagree leave your comments below if you have any thoughts again leave your comments below and also please like and subscribe but just a big shout out to jeremy and geeks and gamers who were there make move filming this jeremy's a really great guy i know i've never met the guy I've never i don't think i've been in the same country as jeremy never spoken to him but he's a really great guy really passionate about star wars and you know if you haven't heard of his channel which i'm sure you have go and have a look at his channel but just big thank you for him for making this video putting it out there but as he called out you're going to see this virtue signaling concept of star wars is for everyone it's going to be everywhere it's going to be a major part of the marketing for star wars not just in this movie but going forwards over the next five or ten years because they want to pull back all the money they're losing and they'll realize that 
Solo could have been could have made more money. I'm not saying it would have been a billion dollar hit, but it could have made another hundred or two hundred million dollars if they recognised that Star Wars is for everyone, and not like Kathleen Kennedy thinks that Star Wars is just for women. When perhaps even, I wouldn't be surprised if most women, well, most women women aren't really interested in Star Wars anyway. So Star Wars isn't for women because I would say only about ten or twenty percent of start of women if that would even consider really being passionately interested in Star Wars. So Star Wars is not for women and that's just a, that's just a fact of it. Star Wars was made by men, supported by men, and probably makes nineteen to ninety five percent of its money from men. But, you know, if you disagree, if you have any facts, I'll be interested to see them. I'll be really interested to know just what percentage of their revenue of Lucasfilm revenue actually comes from women. But if you go by the people that watch YouTube videos based on Star Wars it's around 5% is only women. So for Kathleen Kennedy to target women, she's going to slash the audience, in obviously in half, by excluding men. Then she's going to slash it by 95% by only targeting the 5% of women. So doing some math, she's probably targeting about 3% of the world's population. So Star Wars is not going to be successful if you take 6 billion people, then slash it by 97%, before you've even made the movies, which is what Kathleen Kennedy tried to do. So, Kathleen Kennedy is just ridiculous. She's a joke. And that's what they're trying to repair, the mess that Kathleen Kennedy's made. So, again, leave your comments below if you like or disagree. That's, that's completely your choice. Leave your comments below and also please like and subscribe because we're going to discuss this more and it'll be really interesting in your thoughts. So, thank you for watching.